Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and we are here in Resolve series today and I have brought forward to you a very interesting topic that's less discussed in textbooks uh, about Bernoulli's equation with respect to a inertial moving frame. So you heard it right, it's inertial moving frame. We're not talking about non-inertial frames because that would be quite obvious. So I'll just make a passing reference of non-inertial frames in this particular uh, discussion, but we'll try to resolve whether Bernoulli's equation as we know it, the form that we are taught in textbooks, is it applicable when you try doing that from a moving frame? Okay, so we'll try to do that using a conceptual problem. So here's the problem. I've also put up that problem description in the link below. So you want to try it once, try to pause the video here or take the link from the description below and try it for two or three minutes and then do come back for the solution and the concept uh, that I'll be explaining. Okay. So, and at the end of the video, I'll be giving you a practice problem on a similar uh, situation or an extension of this problem, I should say, which I'll be taking up in the next video. So please do stay till the end of the video to ensure that you get that concept correct okay so here's the formal wording of the question the figure shows a section of tube held fixed by an external force and the liquid of density rho flowing through it there is uniform flow across any cross section of the flow the inlet area is area a1 and the speed is v1 and p1 is the pressure of the liquid at the inlet and the outlet area is area A2 and the speed is V2 and the pressure is P2. The flow is incompressible. Which of the following options is or are correct? Apart from the section M and OP, that is the uh, tapered section, other parts are perfectly cylindrical with horizontal axis. Ignore atmospheric pressure throughout the question. Okay, so this is the uh, problem statement and the options are energy conservation is valid in an inertial frame going towards right with speed V2, same as this outlet speed. Bernoulli's equation is valid in an inertial frame going right with velocity V2, okay? If an external force is removed that was holding this entire tube, which was having water inside it, the tube accelerates towards left. If the external force is removed, the tube accelerates towards right, okay? So you want to have a try, pause, try it, and then move forward, okay? So here's the concept involved. So first we'll try to relook and revise how we achieve Bernoulli's equation and uh, uh, how should we uh, understand each and every term inside it, okay? So just follow my lead, lot of things are on the board, so I'll take you along. Uh, we usually write Bernoulli's equation with respect to the container. Please do remember, this is a very important understanding that we sit on the container and then write the Bernoulli's equation, okay, right? So we have this famous form P plus rho G H plus half rho V square at two different places on a streamline should be the same, okay, right? That's the idea. Since our problem statement here involves a horizontal tube, I can ignore this rho G H for this particular part. And when written for this section, it would be at two different points. Let's say one and two are the two points where I have written all the important variables, P1, A1 and V1. So it will become P1 plus half rho V1 square and it will be P2 plus half rho V2 square on the right side, okay? So when written with respect to a frame moving towards right, well, that means imagine you are having a frame of reference uh, which is moving towards right, then that frame will see the velocities differently, okay? Right, but remember, pressure, which is a contact idea or a Galilean idea, it's a Galilean invariant, okay? That's a very posh word to say that the pressure doesn't change with a frame of reference, okay? Right, so the pressure terms are invariant with a uh, uh, frame of reference moving towards right, but velocity terms change, which means when you rewrite this equation with respect to a frame moving towards right with a velocity V2, the LHS will have P1 as it is, but this V1 will become V1 minus V2 whole square. Whereas RHS, if you see, would simply become P2. And it's quite obvious to your mind that these two are now not equal to each other if these two are equal. The above equation that I wrote for uh, uh, rest frame or the pipe frame is correct that you can't debate. Whereas if that is correct, these two should not be equal to obviously. Okay, so Bernoulli's equation is not applicable in a frame of reference moving towards right with a velocity v2. I'm not even taking a non-inertial frame. It's an inertial frame. Okay, so you should understand the importance of what I'm stating here. Okay, so 
let's see where the discrepancy is okay right so why is that happening all this boils down to your basic understanding of how we derive bernoulli's equation okay it's it's a theorem right it's not a law it's derived from the idea of work energy theorem okay so rewriting the pressure terms on one side of the bernoulli's equation whatever we wrote in the previous page i brought all the pressure terms on one side and the velocity terms on the other side it looks like this this is with respect to the ground frame okay or the uh, frame of the tube we should remember that this equation comes from work energy theorem with lhs uh, being manipulated from work done term remember w all is equal to delta ke if you write the work done uh, part when manipulated becomes this pressure difference term okay by the pressure forces on the liquid and rhs being delta ke so remember the system that we take in writing bernoulli's equation is the fluid system we don't take tube as part of our free body diagram okay so on that free body diagram the lhs term would be related to the pressure forces work on that particular fluid obviously area terms will also be there after entire cancellation using continuity equation also you end up getting this okay rhs is nothing but related to the delta ke it's not direct delta ke it's related to that you could see that this delta ke per unit volume so are these work terms the same when you are sitting on a moving frame is the next question that you are supposed to ask okay right side kinetic energy terms are definitely changing with respect to a moving frame so are these work terms changing or not okay so we realize that when we have a person can you see i have drawn a reference frame moving towards right with a velocity of outlet b2 so when we change frame we need to consider the work done by the pressure force on the tapered wall too on this tapered wall when the tube is there and this fluid element also takes a shape of the tapered wall there is a pressure force actually acting on this section of the liquid in in rest frame the points of application of this particular pressure force are actually at rest that's why it won't come in the bernoulli equations derivation uh, when we use it ground frame okay whereas in a moving frame we carefully observe the velocity here becomes v1 minus v2 velocity here becomes zero but there would be an extra work term that comes from the pressure that is applied by the walls of that container and the point of application of that pressure actually is moving backward with velocity v2 there would be a value that would be associated with that so if you consider that and then use work energy theorem then it will be uh, a correct equation that means that won't give you bernoulli's equation bernoulli's equation by principle is always written with respect to the tube so you should rather say that work energy theorem or energy conservation is valid from a inertial frame okay inertial frame but your standard bernoulli's equation is not valid from a moving inertial frame okay right so that's what we need to consider and that p1 minus p2 is not considered that so apart from p1 minus p2 there should be an extra term which is related to pf that acts around this and remember the pf is not a uniform value it's a variable value and you have to take an average and that involves the calculation of the force applied by the tapered wall on this particular liquid what's the value of that force that itself is a problem of its own which i'll try to take it up in the next video so let's go back and mark our correct options here so the idea is that work energy theorem or the um, uh, 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 energy conservation idea is valid from an inertial frame there are no pseudo forces so energy conservation should be valid so option a is right so your standard bernoulli's equation is not valid in an inertial frame moving towards right it's obvious as i have already stated and i told you why also it is not actually valid so option b is wrong and option c you can clearly see that if external force is removed the tube actually accelerates towards left it's it's pretty obvious right on the liquid the tube applies a rightward force here whereas on the tube the liquid applies a leftward force so the force on the tube is left and if someone else is holding it and he has released that force the tube obviously goes towards right okay so this is the right option so this is the correct answer so what's the value of that force that 
is being held by that particular external agent or the what's the value of the force that we need to take into account that itself is a problem so before we do that i would request you to actually go through the proof of bernoulli's theorem in case you have not done and you've just mugged up the formula it's a very important idea to go through that proof each and every step then you will understand the gist of what i just said okay so it's a standard book um, h c verma volume 1 pages 264 265 section 13.11 or you can surf through any of the internet uh, sections to go for the proof of bernoulli's equation so it comes from w all equal to delta ke so we actually rearrange these terms and write the uh, pressure term let me go back to that equation and call this as pressure energy so what is pressure energy pressure energy is the reworking of or rearrangement of that work term okay it's actually a work term and uh, loosely called as pressure energy and it works okay in a frame of reference from the tube but it's not okay to call it as pressure energy it's a misunderstood term from a moving frame and if you want to call it you have to add extra terms because of the moving frame okay so that's the whole idea here and um i would like you to take up a problem from irado which has a tapered section idea you could see a tube of tapered section having a liquid flow across it tapered means this trapezoidal kind of a situation okay so a side wall of an open tank uh, is having a tapered section and liquid is going out and he asks what is the value of force so this is a numerical problem to actually calculate what's the value of that particular force uh, on internet you will find different methods i think one method is there i'll try to come up with that method and also maybe some more methods to understand and not just shortcuts but you will understand the basic concept of how to uh, visualize the situation even better okay so please do try this one and uh, look forward to the video that i'm going to produce on this okay so in case you loved this resolved series there are many more resolved series questions that are there in the playlist link in the description below and also other series pathfinder olympiad and aits select series i'll be coming up with more of these uh, in the coming uh, run up to the iitj advanced solutions okay so so please make sure that you try to go through all these playlists in the links in the description below and please do like share and subscribe to my channel so in case you like this video do press the like button it will help the youtube algorithm to recommend my video to more people and thereby promoting the channel so i request you once you understand the concept and liked it and got out something from it please do like it and do share it with your friends and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe it's definitely worth your while going through the more than 100 conceptual videos but that you may not find anywhere else it's in a different manner that i actually try to produce okay so thank you see you in the next video